All righty, guys. I want to welcome you guys to the Florida Coast to Coast Football Show. Guys, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I'm your host, Jared Smith, and I have a very, very special guest uh, joining me tonight, Coach E uh, from the GTM Hurricanes up in Gainesville. You know, Coach E is a 10U coach and also the director of football. You know, for the GTM Hurricanes. You know, I've been uh, you know following GTM for a couple years now, and I see that they're making you know a lot of noise. You know, up in that North Central Florida. Uh, area. And I just wanted to bring them on to talk about some of the things that they're doing, you know, at the uh, Hurricanes and, you know, just talk about some of the things that they're doing and some of the athletes that they have over there and what makes that, you know, a special place to play uh, football. Uh, guys, before I get into the interview, like I said, I just have three very, very quick announcements. Uh, first, guys, make sure that you guys are following the Coast to Coast Apparel page uh, at C2CAINC on Facebook. Uh, also, make sure you're following the Coast to Coast Films page. Uh, that you know, that's where we you know live stream and park all of our games. So if you look for any games that we have live stream, it will be on the Coast to Coast Films page. That's at C2C Films with an S. And lastly, guys, and, and most importantly, you know uh, we're all very very aware that you know there have been some extreme violence you know at the youth football events last weekend. Uh, and guys, we just want to remind you guys that little league football and all little league sports that's supposed to be you know the safe haven for our youngsters you know to go out and play football. So if you guys would please just be mindful, you know, that that is our sanctuary, you know, for uh, the younger kids. You know, just make sure that you guys are not bringing that violence to the youth football field. And if, uh, you know, if you guys would do that, that will help everyone out a lot, help, help us out tremendously. Uh, so without further ado, hey, Coach E, you know, I want to uh, welcome you to the show, my man. Thanks for coming on. How you doing? What's going on, man? What's going on? Oh, man, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good, man. You know, like I said, I've been following the uh, GTM a movement, man, for a couple of years now, so I thought it was only fitting, you know, to bring you on, man, and talk about some of the things you guys are doing over there. Oh, yeah, man, most definitely, man. <laughs> I appreciate y'all for having us. Hey, hey, no hey, no problem at all, man. Hey, I think that's our duty, man, to make sure that, uh, you know, those guys that are putting in the work, you know, that they're being recognized. Oh, yeah, man. We've definitely been doing that, so... <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, well, Coach, let's let's get right into it, man. Uh, you know, so how long have you been with uh, GTM? Well, uh, we've been an organization. This this is our fourth year right here. Okay. So uh, it's our fourth year as an organization. Uh, it used to be GTM Stallions and then the uh, Gainesville Hurricanes, and they merged together. Okay. And when that merged and I I came over as well too. So okay, it's been four years, man. It's our fourth year right here. It's our fourth year. Hey man, you guys are making a lot of noise over there, man. Only be uh, four years old. Yeah, man, I was the goal. So you know, of course, we had programs before us like uh, the Gainesville Panthers, okay, and uh, the, the Gainesville Rattlers, and. Uh, you know, we had programs before us that already had that blueprint out there. So when we hit the road, we just, you know, we, we took it to put our own little sauce on it and, and took it to another level, man. That's all. All right. Hey, hey you guys, you guys definitely hit the ground running over there, man. That's what's up. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. That was the goal. So, man, we just, it's year four right here, man. So, you know, the next couple of years, it, it should be bigger than big, man. Hey, hey, that's what's up, man. So, you know, Coach, uh, you know, one of the things that really uh, sparked my attention a few weeks ago, your seven U team were able to knock off a nationally ranked, uh, you know, Bugatti boys out of uh, Broward County, a lot of hill lines, man. Um, you, know, you know, just talk about, you know, you know that game and that victory and, and what beating a team like that, you know, does, you know, for the visibility of your program and also, you know, what it does, you know, to let people know about Gainesville football. Oh, yeah, man. Like I said, I-7, you, that's the cream of the crop right there, man. Okay. So, you know, the money, money bag boys, you know, that's the cream of the crop. They 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 beat more than just one, you know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. They just went to Jacksonville. They beat that air team from Washington. They beat South Florida Chargers. They beat Fort Lauderdale Hurricanes. They beat the Bugatti boys. They beat the Tampa uh, Brandon Bears, so okay. The seven you, seven you, uh, money bag boys, man. They, we already knew what they was gonna be though, man. So, you know, it didn't come by surprise. You know, it it, it was expected. Okay. 
Okay. So it ain't come by surprise at all, man. We do we do what them dudes can do. Great coaches over there. They've been grinding since uh, last year. Okay. And you know, now that work is finally paying off. And, and, and their parents are great. They got a great support system. You know, even the city behind them, which is usually it doesn't happen like that. You know, the city don't really be behind each other like that but the city behind that team right there man so it's definitely it's definitely was expected for them to do what they doing right now man hey hey, that, hey listen everybody loves a winner man you, you start winning you start knocking down some big dogs man you know you know people are going to jump on board oh yeah oh yeah man oh yeah them, the boys represent man they got great energy you know great coaching the kids are football fanatics man i'm talking about i've never seen kids that young really love the game like that man so it's it's, it's that's a special group right there definitely hey, hey hey that's what's up man you know um it's always good especially when you have great younger teams because the younger teams are the you know are the future of your program man so you know if you if you get them in there young and you know make sure that you're coaching them up and they have some early success man you know that's you know, like I said, that's the future of your program, man. And, uh, you know, that's, you know, shows that you guys are really moving in the right direction when people are bringing their kids to you, you know, at a young age and they're having a lot of success. Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. Like I said, we, you know, we, we give them babies the most love because, like I said, we want them to grow through the program as well as their coaches, their parents and stuff like that. And just watching them grow. From young all the way when they get 13, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's a <laughs> wonderful feeling, though, you know? Hey, hey, yes, it is, man. You watch them come in as, as babies and they and they leave as you know, young adults. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and and, and that, that's what's up, man. Um, You know, another thing that I've been you know, paying a lot of attention to, especially earlier in the uh, preseason before, you know, league play had started because of the whole COVID situation, uh, you know, there. You know, Gainesville was hosting a lot of you know big games. I mean, you know, with state and national uh, recognition. You know, you know, uh, teams from all around the state. You know, was coming into Gainesville to play, and uh, so you know, hosting those games and and being able to have you know that type of you know talent and that you know type of uh, you know football caliber of teams. You know, in the Gainesville area, man. You know, how did that really impact? You know that whole North Central Florida area, man. In, in terms of hosting those teams and, and really being able, you know, to put on a good and safe environment, you know, for those teams to come in and play football. Man, it's just an opportunity to show, you know, not only South Florida but you know just the nation that North Florida can play ball, man. Like we playing ball up here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, so, sir. Yes, sir. You know, most people only you know respect you know down south florida football so you know for for them to come up this way you know and play ball and us knocking them off like we was man it just it was a blessing in disguise really you know like of yeah. course when you saying that the cold covid situation is is a good thing but it's some good things that happen between it man so you know it's most definitely was a blessing, man. And just show everybody that, you know, we can play ball. But then on the same on the same different level, man, it just showed the business side of football as well too, you know, like okay. we able to host these big tournaments and, you know, have fun and bring in a crowd just like anybody else from anywhere else, man. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, it was it was it was great. Definitely was a great experience and we're gonna keep it going man the momentum ain't gonna stop so we hosted a preseason in a swamp where you know that was the first time that everybody got to see the on go boys the honors um, with blaze and noah and all yeah, them, man yeah. so mm -hmm. and they played the duval jags ate you and it was Friday night under the light yeah it was it, nice it just crazy man it was crazy so you know, next year we just gonna do the same thing and and make it a bigger. But we, you know, we definitely got to return the favor, go down south, and you know, bless they fields as well too, man. Cause that's what it's all about, man. Showing each other love. Yeah, de definitely, definitely, man. And and you know, um, one of the main reasons why I you know I started this show, man, and got into the uh, you know media side. 
you know, in promotion side of youth football was that, you know, just like you were saying, man, you know, I really didn't feel as though Florida teams were paying enough attention to one another. You know, I feel as though, you know, it was too much attention being paid to teams outside of Florida, you know, like, you know, Georgia and Ohio and the D.C. area. And uh, you really weren't, you know, getting the, you know, out of league games around the state, man. And, uh, you know, in, in whatever situation, you're going to have a silver line. And yes, the COVID situation has definitely affected everyone in, in some shape, form or fashion. But it did, you know, open up opportunity for Florida teams to really start paying each other a lot more attention and giving one another their just due in terms of, you know, having an opportunity to play some teams you wouldn't normally, you know, get to play. And, and that was definitely a silver line in a very, very dark cloud. Oh, yeah, man, most definitely. It, it was, like I said, it's a blessing in disguise. But, yeah, yeah man, it, 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 it was fun. It still is fun because we still doing it. So, you know, with GTM, we always played top competition ever since we got, you know, got rolling. So yes, we, we never ducked no wreck, you know what I mean? We always traveled and traveled, got on the road, played these people, played that people. So it was just good for – us not having to go on the road <laughs> yeah. and them coming here and us playing here, like in our home. And, you know, like last week, we played Northside Pride, but Miami Garden Ravens came up and played 13U as well, too. So, okay. you know, all these teams you seeing on YouTube and things like that, you know, it was, you know, it, our city get to see it. Our kids, yeah. you know, get to see it. And our kids, they love YouTube. Yeah, you know oh yeah, so, <laughs> all of them, man. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. The same thing with uh, you know, Duval Jags. They they did great, man. Um, hosting some big old tournaments as yeah. well too. Uh, Thirteen U. They got to uh, play Rare Breeds last week. Okay, and you know that's a crazy team. You know we seen RDU Ten U in the beginning of the year, and it was, it was like I said, man. A lot of these teams that the kids definitely want to see. You know, these kids starting to turn into young celebrities, man, yeah. <laughs> at a young age. Cause they they really are. They really are, man. Yeah, man. So it just, it's good to, like I said, it's, we do this for the experiences, man. We don't do this for championships and, you know, stuff like that. We do it for the experiences. When you get my age, you can talk about, hey, I played with him. I played against him. I did this. I did that, you know. That's what it's all about. Yeah, man. And, and you know, one of the things that has really uh, been impressive about GTM, man, is that you guys are known, you know, for being good top to bottom. You know, you guys are known for putting together a very, very quality program. And, uh, you know, you know, but, you know, but with that, when you do have very good teams from top to bottom, you know, you have a lot of individuals, you know, that want to test it to see, you know, uh, are you guys as good as advertised? Uh, you know, are, are there any teams that – no, or any organization that you've been, uh, you know, keeping your eye on, man, uh, you know, to try to, to make sure you guys can get some rec with them, uh, you know, if the uh, schedule's open and uh, time prevails.